This week you will be working on lessons 36 through 40, which are tables. And although they're not as much typing, which should be not as time consuming for you, there are a number of things that you will be learning about inserting tables. In lesson 36, it's a pretty simple uh, table that you're inserting with three columns and three rows and then typing the information in the table. You are learning how to resize, for instance, when you first insert a table. Let me enter. Let me put one down below here. So when I insert a table and I choose three by three, notice how big the, the how wide the columns are because they stretch from margin to margin. So you will need to resize those. So for instance here, it probably looked something like this in the beginning. And it's very simple to resize them because you just hover your mouse over the middle. Don't get in the intersection, but over the middle of one of the vertical lines and double click and it will resize and auto fit it. There are other methods as well, but this is probably the simplest method. Just be sure you do resize those columns. So all of them in lesson 36 are pretty much that simple. The three lessons in um, or assignments in lesson 37 are also pretty much that simple. In this case, you're inserting a table with one, two, three, four, five rows. And in the top row, you're putting a heading and doing a little formatting to it. You'll notice that it is bold and it is a size 14 for the heading. And you're resizing the column widths so that they are not spread out way far. And that's pretty much what you're learning in lesson 37. Okay, in lesson 38, they take it a step further and they want you to also have column headings, which are normally size 12, but they're also bolded. And then they also want you to center the table. So if you click on the table holder here, table selector is what we usually call that, and then click on center up here or control E, it will center it horizontally across the page. You also need to center it vertically, and that is a little harder to find, but it's under Layout, Page Setup, and click the Layout tab, because it'll probably be on Margin, so click the Layout tab and Page Vertical Alignment Center. So center both vertically and horizontally on these in Lesson uh, 38. Okay, then in lesson 39, you will also center vertically and horizontally, and you don't want to forget that. But you also select, use the select tool, and you will be using the borders tool. So you can actually uh, put a bottom border, put uh, view the grid lines, change the borders and shading, uh, and use this tool, the borders tool, to make all sorts of changes. In, um, in your project to make it look a lot better. So when you print preview, notice that it's not all borders, but there's a border on the top and the bottom of the column heading, and then one at the very bottom that they're viewing. So you can do that by selecting the area that you want to put borders on, go up here, and put borders at the top and the bottom. Notice those are highlighted there when I selected that. And you can do the same thing down here. You can select that row several different ways and put bottom and top. And they do have view grid lines on. You can turn that off so that you don't see those grid lines. And finally, in Lesson 40, this is a review, a reinforcement of what you've learned in letters, reports, and tables. So you're doing an envelope and adding it to the letter. You're typing a letter. Be sure you note the, the placement of the letter, where you start it. Also, click, uh, be sure and fill in this with 2016. 
don't leave it at that and don't leave it red. Change the font color so that it's appropriate. And watch your spacing here four times after that, but you need to be sure and be on single paragraph spacing and know befores and afters. That's very important to being able to get the placement of the letter right. A blank space before and after the salutation. One blank space before the closing, sincerely. Be sure you spell sincerely right. Four times return. URS should be your initials, and then directly under it, there's an enclosure. It says that in the let within the body of the letter, so be sure and include that. And then the next one is an academic report, and I know that because it's double-spaced. And it's just a one-page report, so you don't have to mess with page numbers. But notice the spacing. This is a common error before and after the side headings. There should not be any extra space there. Just return once, but be sure that you have your paragraph spacing set and you're ready to do that. Okay, then um, the last one is a what you've been working on in this chapter or this these lessons, which is a table that's centered vertically and horizontally. And again, just to remind you that you can go to layout page setup click on layout and change it to vertical alignment center centering horizontally is a little easier click the select tool for selecting the whole table and click the center or control e will also do that so be sure you get those uh, centered that and the title is in 14 font subtitle is 12 font and the column headings are in 12 font. Now this particular one has top and bottom on the column headings and a one below the table. So you want to be sure that you look at the borders as well. End of this video.